welcome back. I am in the Italian countryside. Just kidding, it does look like that's where we are. I'm actually at 70 Golden Eagle in Shady Canyon, Irvine, California. So for those of you who are not from coastal Orange County, just over the hill is the coast. So we're literally just on the other side of Newport Coast. Steve almost smashed the camera on the front of the gate thing. <laughs> Come on in, join me. All right, so one thing I wanted to point out, we started out there for a reason, not at the front door. This estate sits on about one acre lot and it's gated and it's a private compound. It is stunning. I mean, you know, you look at these beautiful Italian olive trees. It's just has that compound feel and this is gonna be a little bit of a long video uh, because there's a lot to cover. So the property sits at about 84-ish hundred square feet on two levels. And the importance of bringing up the fact that it's just on two levels as opposed to having a basement is that it's really expansive. You're gonna see it as we walk through. It feels much bigger than 8,400 square feet. I thought it felt more like 10, maybe 12,000 square feet, but you'll see all the rooms are very spacious and everything is spread out. The architecture is really cool. It's some really, really traditional yet, it's been completely renovated and updated to you know, what people want now with the modern design feel, but you'll see as we walk through. Uh, we'll just kind of like cruise by. That is a detached casita. It is, so we're preparing, still preparing the property for the marketplace, preparing the property for the marketplace. Uh, and that room hasn't been cleaned out yet, but it's a standalone casita. Steve, watch your step. Um, that's being used as a gym, but it could be bedroom number eight. So there's quite a number of bedrooms in this property. Um, some currently are not being used as bedrooms. For example, spoiler, there's a cool meditation room that I love. Um, Steve, hold on a second. I, I, I wanted for the effect, you get to see these are beautiful doors. I like the arches, I like the colorway. Look at this. Welcome, Yo MTV Cribs. All right, let's go, let's start this. So as you walk in, one of the things that I really like about this is you walk in, this expansive, beautiful, high ceiling, lots of natural sunlight. So this is a formal living space. Um, you know, I love what they did with the design elements, the lighting fixtures throughout the property. Look at this cool mirror. Steve, if you can get this, I love, this is a beautiful mirror. So I think pretty much almost everything um, from a design element. Let's go this way, by the way. We'll come back this way, but uh, is uh, restoration hardware. So, uh, you know, it's the style. I mean, I love the beautiful color of the wood flooring. As you walk through, I love that the arches are all squared off and all the paneling, you'll see all the intricate detail of the paneling throughout the property. This is very classy, classic, timeless, and elegant. Um, so as we walk in, You've got this dining room. I love those light fixtures. Absolutely stunning. Brushed brass. And you're gonna see, you know, I mentioned it's about an acre. The property is really large, oversized. And as you look outside, complete privacy. So you just have tons and tons of beautiful landscaping. These trees are gorgeous. There's cypress, there's olive. There's tons of citrus trees everywhere. Oh, before we go too far, there is actually, Steve, this is, so you got a guest suite here with French doors out to the patio in the entranceway. I'll let, it, let you pan around there to catch that. And then this, this is one of my, this is like, and the smell that they have going on in here, it, it, it smells the way it looks. It's rich, it's elegant, it's sexy, it's, it's all of that. Love just the finishes, the lighting, the stone, integrated sink. And then this is restoration hardware paint. I mean, I don't know if you can catch it on the, on the uh, camera, but it's, um, it's like a dark graphite color. It's really sexy. All right, so let's continue this way. As we come down here, you've got your main staircase. Uh, we're not gonna dip in there, we'll come back around, but that's uh, a, sort of a, a back prep catering kitchen. 
So as you make your way into this great room, look at how beautiful this is. So big, expansive, but it feels very um, homey. It feels very comfortable. And I love this, the tr ceiling treatment. You know, you've got room for your piano. You have all this seating. Uh, the big TV goes up over there, if you so choose. Um, and then you've got this kitchen, your open, you know, open concept to the kitchen. Beautiful island, again, with the treatment of all this beautiful stone throughout. And then you've got the beautiful hardware, obviously all stainless steel appliances. You've got warming drawers, you've got the big double fridge, all brand new, everything's gorgeous. And then, Steve, if you could get this, this is that, you know, catering kind of butler kitchen that, where you could stage up. Look at the use of stone though. And I love, this is one of the newer trends where you bring the stone up and you have this shelf above. Love, love, love the way that looks. You know, this is not hard to do, but uh, not that many people are doing it these days, but you see it in all the architectural digests. I love the color of the cabinetry. So you've got, this is the kitchen, great room. Again, beautiful lighting treatments throughout. Very understated hood, but elegant. And then off to the right here, you've got this great breakfast nook. Big square uh, room with a nice round table, beautiful lighting features. And then here you have, we're not gonna go out in the backyard yet, but you have these beautiful French doors that open up to an outdoor eating area with a fireplace, which is really cool. So as you can tell, the staging is not totally complete in this house. You can see there's still a few things that are happening. Um, I think tomorrow the staging will, will be complete and there'll be a part two with, uh, you know, most of the big pieces are in, all the, all the really, you know, meaningful pieces. Uh, but, you, you know, it comes down to the details, bringing in all the accessories and tying it all together so it looks like and feels like someone lives in it currently. So when people, when the buyers come through, that's that feeling that they get, right? That feeling makes them write offers. So when you come in here, this is really cool. Everybody now these days is asking for a back kitchen, catering kitchen. So you've got a full back kitchen with a, with a uh, six burner. And what do we have here? Got a little griddle, pancake griddle. Um, can't get that up. And then out here, <laughs> out here, I didn't, I didn't prep that out here very well. Uh, out here, you've got yet another kitchen. And this is really important. You know, we're not allowed to say things. We have to be careful about how we phrase this, but international, a lot of international cultures like to have an outdoor kitchen because the cooking could be very, you know, odiferous and splatter and, you know, so this is really cool. It's an enclosed, this is screen. This is actually, these are screens. So this is actually an outdoor kitchen with a sink and two walks if you get my drift. And this is really cool for our, uh, my Italian brethren. Um, this is a little pasta station, which I love. And uh, that used to be a secret trick of mine. I used to make fresh pasta back then. I need to bring, start bringing that back. All right, so enough about that. We came through this way was the uh, garage access. So you've got three cars side by side on grade with storage with Tesla charger. And I talk about the, the house being on grade because you don't have to deal with the basement. Big, big walk-in pantry, by the way. Uh, but you don't have to deal with like driving down into a basement. All of the living space is on street level grade and above. So that was this right side of the house. But I really love this. Like when you look down this hallway, it's just so elegant and timeless. I love it. Sometimes these days that, you know, I mean, I, I do love modern architecture a lot. So I am a little bit, you know, torn with which features I like the best, but timeless paneled elegance never goes out of style. And this is updated to where it feels like it's, you know, um, as we like to say, you know, not contemporary, but transitional. So as you come back here, so over there by the sexy bathroom, we had one guest bedroom. We have another guest bedroom down here, secondary bedroom, I should call it, not a guest bedroom, but a secondary bedroom, en suite. Has access out to the patio and the pool is over there. We're gonna to go to that later. This was that secret surprise room that I was telling you about and I hate to step on this. Um, 
but very cool inlaid floor. This could be a meditation room. Um, I mean, there's a lot of uses that you can have for this. If you're spiritual, this could be a prayer room. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that either, but uh, we have a bathroom through there. So this is sweet. So technically, two bedrooms, that third over there. And then upstairs, we have three more um, plus an office. So there's a lot of bedrooms. There's a lot of flexibility with offices, with meditation suites. Um, and again, like every time you look out the window, you just have this beautiful landscaping patio space. You have, it's, it's very serene, it's very private, it's very zen. So, I don't know, this home, I, I love this property a lot. All right, we're gonna make our way upstairs. You can tell all brand new wood flooring, gorgeous color. Again, not trendy, very timeless. You land up here. Again, the staging is not complete and you're gonna get a glimpse of what that view is gonna look like. Let's just go this way. Steve, when you uh, get a chance, we'll go this way. Um, so basically this was that flex space, which could be a bedroom, but has a built-in to be an office. Has beautiful pitched wood ceilings. I love that lighting fixture. Again, all restoration. You've got these built-ins with stone. Very masculine, beautiful room. Could be a bedroom if you needed an eighth bedroom. Um, but very cool space. And then you come back through here and you have the primary suite. More use of this beautiful stone. Someone stole the mattress. <laughs> Just kidding, it's coming in tomorrow. Uh, that's cool, that, that lighting fixture is kind of like uh, something from like a, like a Art Deco movie set or something, I don't know, I like it. Um, but then you come through here and look at the beautiful stonework throughout. You've got dual closets, dual toilets, beautiful shower, stone wrapped everywhere. I really like the, the, the treatment, the way that they did um, the finish on the stone, all clean. I'm really into clean straight lines, so this is really my style. Standalone tub, more cool lighting fixtures. So awesome bathroom, I love this bathroom. It's a great primary suite. Again, sweeping views. And why don't we just actually go out this way, Steve, off the uh, primary suite. You have um, this great sitting area. Again, if you were to use that as your executive office, you just kind of have the tie in together flows. You've got this cool fi fire pit feature. And then as you come out here, Again, this is very serene, peaceful, and you feel like you're in the Italian countryside. You know, it could be Italy, it could be France. Um, and as you look out, you can see all the way to downtown LA, you can see the mountains. All that snow has melted off. You've got Shady Canyon Golf Course, you can see. And then on the clear day, you can see all the way out there. I think you can see uh, Palos Verdes in the water. Beautiful view. One of the highest home sites in Shady. I mean, if you pan up, Steve, you can see up there, there's a few that are slightly higher, but one of the highest home sites in here with an incredible view. I think a lot of people, when they think Shady Canyon, they don't think view and they think kind of more on the flat side. So up here on Golden Eagle, you really get a spectacular view. At nighttime, this is all lit up. City, city lights view here at nighttime, stunning. All right, let's finish off with upstairs. We have the um, got a little fridge here. Two more secondary suites. So upstairs you have one, two, plus the office, which could be the third and the primary. Good size rooms. All have balconies ensuite bath. This one has a built-in with stone. Great use of uh, textures and colors. Again, I love this wood flooring. This lighting treatment in the ceiling just gives you that feeling of light and bright. So from here, let's take a run downstairs. Let's run outside and take a look at this expansive lot, which is almost an acre, which kind of wraps all the way around the property 
and gives you a lot of useful outdoor space, but most importantly, a lot of privacy. Let's go out this way where you can see you've got this, uh, this putting green golf area. So when we were in the breakfast nook area, that's that outdoor eating patio where you have a fireplace, which is beautiful. Over here off to the left, you have your barbecue pavilion with uh, you know, a stainless barbecue grill. It's all covered and beautiful in a bar. You got tons of these olive trees throughout. Again, I was mentioning tons of citrus trees. Actually, Steve, I think if we just walk over here, this is cute. You've got a little swing. If you have children or grandchildren or even an adult, I suppose. I don't. So if you take a look, it gives you kind of the scope of the depth and how big this property is at almost an acre, wraps all the way around. And we're gonna walk all the way down there actually where uh, the pool is. It's in a completely different kind of um, private secluded area that's gated so it's very private and safe. Um, here's those citrus trees I was mentioning. And I have to say, I think it's these purple flowers. They're absolutely gorgeous, but my allergies are killing me. All right, so let's take a stroll throughout the grounds. Extremely meticulously well cared for. Beautiful. Hopefully my shoes don't get messed up. <laughs> We're gonna make it to all the way over here to this pool. So, this gives you some perspective. Now we're back to the front door entrance and that cool um, oversized kind of viewing picture window, which is awesome. A lot of space. If you have kids and dogs and have a party, there's a lot of room. You could have hundreds of people here. And then over here is where the pool is. So as you look down, I mean, you have all this dedicated space to a big, big, beautiful, refreshing pool, seating area, spa. You've got a little play area, Baja shelf with an umbrella there if you have little ones. And if someone wanted to, if they wanted to have a, a, you know, a tennis court or a pickleball, which is the hottest thing in the planet right now, this could be turned into uh, you know, a pickleball, pickleball kind of a court and you can move a pool in the back side of the property. There's a lot of options. So anyway, that's, uh, we've kind of wrapped it up. We'll wrap it up here at the side yard. Actually, see if you pan back around, it'll give them a full 360 view. We're gonna end up back here on the private gated driveway. And that was a tour of this exquisite estate here in Shady Canyon. Just under 14 million buys you all of that. Seven or eight bedrooms. 8,400 ish square feet, one acre, flat, both levels on grade, spectacular, turnkey, ready to go. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, join me next time at the intersection of life and luxury.